just gonna start by just boiling. Um, I got two beets here um, on high heat with some a little bit of water. Now just to marinate my chicken, I have uh, some chopped ginger. Got some garlic, which I'm not gonna chop. I'm just gonna really just bang on a little bit just to really get that flavor out. And then I'm gonna get Filipino limes or calamansis. I'm gonna cut maybe four of those, four or five of those. I'm using two chicken breasts, by the way. So once all that's cut, smell that flavor. Getting nice, that's four. Then I'm gonna take my chicken uh, right here. All right, um, I'm gonna take my calamansis here, give them a good squeeze, pits and all, no problem. I'm gonna take my ginger and my garlic as well, put that all in there, all right? Then we're gonna take a little bit of salt, not much, maybe just a teaspoon, and then we're gonna put some black pepper and some cayenne pepper inside. After about 30 minutes to an hour of marinating, I'm gonna take my um, chicken, remove all the pits, and make sure that all the seeds are gone and they're not attached, because we don't wanna put them in this pan. I'm, I'm using this pan here, um, which is called uh, Sheffield pan, which is great because I like the way it cooks everything. You just put everything inside at medium heat and you let it cook nicely. So I have a bit of olive oil in there. I'm gonna put um, my chicken breast, my whole chicken breast inside, and I'm just gonna close it up. Now once your beet is done, it should be very easy to remove the skin by just um, running it under hot water. So you'll see that it's ready when it just basically a knife goes through without barely even touching it. And I love beets because they have just this inherent sweetness that's just so beautiful. So for one portion, we're just gonna use half of it, right? And we're just gonna cube it up. So now in a bowl here, we're just gonna mix our one cup and a half of beets with one cup and a half of quinoa, or just one cup is enough. Just mix that and you'll see this beautiful red color coming out. It's exactly what we want. All right, so you mix that. Then we're gonna add about three tablespoons of lemon juice. And then to that, we're also gonna add very finely shaved uh, white onion, just to give it that extra bite uh, that I love. So after adding the lemon juice, we're just gonna add this white onion. So I'm just gonna peel it quickly. Just like so. And then we're gonna do really fine um, little stripes or little onde. No. I'm just gonna take that, break them apart before putting them in, obviously, just like that. And then we're gonna toss everything together. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, um, some cherry vinegar. We're gonna add maybe just a table, um, a teaspoon, just to really give it that nice kick also. And then some olive oil, good toss. Now, um, just for some texture, I'm gonna get peeler like this. I've got a carrot, I'm just gonna do um, short stripes, just as so. Then we're gonna toss in with salad. It's gonna be nice orange, nice contrast of color, um, and a little bit of texture with a little bit of bite to it, uh, to the carrot. And then once you've got about a handful, okay, we're almost there. We've got about a handful, keep it to the side, and then we're gonna do the same thing with radishes. Uh, we're gonna do little slices, just like that, again, to have that contrast of red and white color. Now, for our finishing touches, really simply, half a, a juice of an orange. I'm just gonna press right in there. I removed all the pits, of course, and the seeds. So I'm just gonna mix all that with the quinoa. I'm gonna add to that all my carrots inside. And then I'm gonna add some of my radish, not all of it, maybe only half. And then half my basil, a little torn up, like that, just the baby leaves. And then we're gonna give that a good mix. Now when everything is done, um, simply enough, I'm just going to get our salad, you see it, it'll soak up a beautiful color, which we're just going to plate here onto a rectangular plate, you can use whatever you want obviously, um, and you see it just, it's just a glorious, glorious color, and a lot of people will add, what the hell is in there, they'll think that there may be some color into everything, but it's all natural, and it's just a beautiful, gorgeous salad color, if you see that. So don't be too pretty with it, just like that, then we're going to add a little bit of color on it, I'm um, gonna start off with just some crumbled goat cheese that we're just gonna put right on top. This brings a nice bite and brightness to the whole dish. I'm gonna take um, our radish that we still had from a while ago just to balance out the red that's in there and bring out some white. And then just a little bit of torn basil leaves that we're just gonna place all over just to give it that nice touch. If you have some caramelized pecans or almonds, that would be fantastic with the salad. Put that aside. Now, really simply enough, I have my chicken on this side. You can see my chicken has a beautiful brown crust here. It's almost crunchy, and I'm just gonna give that a nice chop, just like that, right through. 
freaking hot. I burnt myself twice there. Give it a nice chop, do that, and then we're gonna lay that right on top as well. So I'm just gonna get these nice pieces of chicken, put it right on top of our salad right here, perfectly cooked. And this is just a great type, woo, it's freaking hot. It's a great type of dish. Um, protein, nice carbs, um, nice and healthy, nice and proper, and a nice balanced, healthy diet. So there you go, so some chicken breast um, with a beetroot salad, uh, some rib carrot ribbons, uh, some radish, some basil leaves, uh, just a very simple uh, Asian lime and uh, some uh, olive oil, salt, and pepper. So. Got a great dinner or lunch right here in front of you.